there's actually many studies internationally showing the same thing already. One of the reasons that Facebook and other platforms make us feel downcast is that nobody shows their worst possible life on social media. They don't upload posts about boring things. It's always about doing something interesting, compelling. And that leaves the rest of us feeling a little bit inadequate, wondering why you know, our lives just don't match up. So it sets us up for unrealistic uh, expectations. And it's particularly looking at people who don't really interact much with others, but just observe what's going on. Is that a particular danger? It's one of the biggest dangers today of social media, that prolonged use cuts down our eyeball time. So many of our relationships are mediated using screens now. We don't spend as much time as we used to do eyeballing one another. And that's why, according to some psychologists now, children as young as five in this country are exhibiting autism-like symptoms. They can't read basic facial signals in other people because they're so engaged with screens. And you do see increasingly younger and younger people with tablets, with smartphones, and maybe a lot of people will get them for young children even this Christmas. Yes, they may be, and they need to remember that an important part of engagement with social media is what we call social disinhibition. It can train people to do and say things online they'd never dream of doing offline. In one British study, 2% of 2,000 people said they'd insulted someone they didn't know online in the past year. Now, that doesn't sound like many people, but if you extrapolate it across the population, it's one million people insulting one million other people online. And it can really ruin your prospects in future life as well, can't it, if you're unwise on social media? Yes, people need to remember that what goes digital largely stays digital, either because we forget to delete it or because even if you do try to do so, you know, you can't completely expunge a digital record using normal consumer equipment. Um, So we need to think ahead when we engage in the social media space. Because it can actually be really useful as well, can't it? There's, There's not just downsides to things like Twitter and Facebook. No, one of the great benefits of social media is that it allows us mass collaboration. We can collaborate over large distances to solve previously intractable problems, and that's one of the great benefits of social media. It allows us to innovate collectively in a way that we could never do decades ago.